As we try to find a match, I'm, I'm just gonna solve this video because it's time. Hey guys, it's a <sighs> I just woke up. I'm yawning. I'm tired. So, uh, but, uh, let's talk about this week. Let's talk about this week. Um, Monday was a no school day for the local elementary schools. So I had a full day of work and that was really exhausting i'm not gonna lie um the way our kind of work sets up is that we kind of when it's a full day like that we get a five hour shifts instead of our typical like three hour shifts so is it it's kind of different but not really um it, it definitely becomes a thing of like well we have to spend more time together, see each other a little bit more, that type of thing. And it gets kind of annoying. Um, that she's like, oh, because you end up getting weight, you get up, you end up getting very tired very quickly, and it's just like, and it comes down to the fact it's like, I don't want to do this. Monday, there was an incident. With a couple of students that, um, may or may not have included biting, and may or may not have, may or may not have included biting, may uh, may or may not have been seen, and really just became a big shit fest. And me and and because I was one of the few counselors on currently there we me and my assistant manager kind of got into it um i didn't see what had happened and with children when you have a job like this you kind of need to always see what happens so that's not an acceptable answer is i didn't see it and what i was trying to explain why i didn't see it it wasn't really taken as, oh, this is an explanation of what happened and what kind of went down. It was more seen as an excuse of why I didn't see it. And then that was then in turn taken as, oh, I forgot, I don't, that's not a grenade. And that was in turn taken as, well, I don't really care about the job. Because all I'm doing is making excuses of why I'm not doing the job properly. And it really just became a mess. It came down to the fact that after we kind of had this, I'll call it what she called it, for the sake of charity, this discussion, I ended up, I was shaking and I was kind of debating whether or not I was going to get fired. Absolutely terrified that that, that was what was going to happen. Um, and let me say, like, this, this is a job that I absolutely love. It's the job that I want to kind of use to spring forward me into my actual career. So it's kind of, it was really upsetting that the way this, this, this manager was talking to me was like, oh, you always screw things up. I'm really getting really tired of you continuing to screw things up and I think you really need to change how you do things or otherwise you know I don't know what I'm going to have to do and it when that is a kind of sorry I'm, re sorry, I'm really tired um when that's the kind of shit that you get thrown at it becomes really easy to, to kind of get have this defeatist mindset, especially when there's only two real employees, a substitute that comes in almost daily because we can't, because we don't have any people. And it's just this constant barrage of just garbage at that point. And it really sucks, um, to say the least. Like, it sucks.
But all that aside, Monday wasn't that bad. I walked in Tuesday like, all right, I'm ready for the fight. Let's get down. Let's get down to the fight. And instead, nothing happened. And then I'm being a another school day. No one addressed it. I very much tried to kill him with kindness and just be like, oh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, and that type of thing. But it just came down to this thing of like, all right, well, no one's talking about it. No one's addressing it. So maybe it wasn't that big of a deal to begin with. And we're just all really tense and we're all really emotional. At least that's how I took it. Is that it didn't actually mean anything. We're all just really tense and emotional at this point. Because we're tired and because she's a terrible human being to begin with. Um, that's at least how I took it. Uh, to, so besides Tuesday, me taking this very much kill her with kindness approach. Um, nothing really happened Tuesday. And after Monday, that's exactly how I wanted it to be. I walked in, uh, and it's weird because I have a college class on that on Tuesday. And you see a bunch of memes on iFunny saying how, uh, you know, a part of the high school experience now is cahoots. And we do cahoot, and in this college class, we do cahoot. Um, we have cahoot quizzes as like a pop quiz type thing. So we had a cahoot quiz, which w is like, oh, okay, um... That's the thing. I keep forgetting I don't have a boost. Um, okay, I keep trying to boost and it, nothing happens. Okay. Um. Yeah, so Tuesday was no was just a Kahoot test and no big deal. So I, I completely lost my train of thought. Wednesday was the court date. Um and God I thought you, you can't even jump over that crap. Um and Thursday be Wednesday being the court date, I I was really expecting that this was going to be it. This was going to be the last time I have to deal with this thing. So I walked into it um, shaking and nervous. I've been pretty sparing with the details of the court date. But um, if I lose this court date, I will have to... I basically will have to claim bankruptcy and... I'll be maybe the only YouTuber at the age of, you know, 27, still living with his parents, still living with his mom, which, you know, is not how I want my claim to fame. Like, so there's that that's kind of going on. Um, and it very much becomes a thing of, well, How do you want to deal with this? And so I was hoping that Wednesday would be it. I took off work because I thought Wednesday would be it. And let me tell you, I like I cannot take off work. My job, like I said, only has two employees and a shit ton of kids to watch. I can't afford to take days off. It's not my job can't afford me to take days off. So I 100% thought that this was going to be it. And I was ready for it. I wanted this to be it. And it wasn't. We I walked in there for about five minutes. Um, I was shaking. I was trying not to cry that entire time. And once again, nothing happened. Um, once again, it was just a matter of...
it was a matter of why did you miss this thing that you weren't supposed to miss? Um, what are we gonna do about you missing this thing that you weren't supposed to miss? All right, we'll set up another. We'll set up another one. Um, and I want to be honest with you guys. I am so tired of this court date thing, of this court thing. Um, you know, once everything gets cleared through, I'm gonna, I'll talk fully about it and I'll talk openly about it. Um, and I'll tell you everything that's been going on with this three year battle at this point. Um, but I can't do that as of right now. And I'm sorry about that because I am so very tired and I want to, I want to tell you about everything. I want to tell you about all this garbage, but I can't, um, so I'm sorry. After that, I had still taken off work, so there wasn't much of a thing about that. So I ended up going, you know what? Fuck it. I still have today. Damn. I still have today. What's something that I always want to do, but I never get get to do? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go to tattoo parlors. I'm going to go look at, try to ask about pricing about my next tattoo. Because I'd like to have my own tattoo. And I started asking around. And it, was, and it became very apparent to me that my next tattoo, the next one I have, the ne this next idea, is actually pretty is pretty cheap. Um, coloring lines and all that, it's pretty cheap this time around. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited that it is a pretty cheap job. Um, because my next one is pretty simple. And I'm not ready to kind of tell you guys what it is yet um I'll do that when I actually get a tattoo but I'm very excited about my next one and it became apparent that if I didn't have a, a trip coming up this weekend that I'd be getting this tattoo that day which I I hated that I couldn't just grab it then and there um like It became very apparent to me. Um, so there was that. And then I, later one day, I was like, you know what? I have to do some schoolwork. And so I might as well start working on this giant project that I have from this online class. And one of the aspects of the project that I have to go and take interviews from people with different perspectives. So that's what I started doing. I saw I called up Rogue and I was like, oh, we had different up upbringings. Um, do you mind if I can get an interview with you? So I conducted my first interview um, regarding that. And I'm actually going to be doing another interview later today, which I wish... I could tell you guys more about, um, but it hasn't happened yet, so I can't. All you need to know is that how we're starting off is that he, this guy, wants to be a priest. He wants to be a father, and in order to be a father, he's going through semin seminary. And all this other stuff. And he wants to be an exorcist, specifically. So, we are, like, as different as different can get, it's, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, so, I'll tell you guys more about that when that comes up. So, not only did I have my first interview with Rogue, but then I was also like, you know what? We, we don't hang out often. You should come over and play some games. And we can kind of just have a good time. So she came over, we, she started playing um, the first round of the first episode of Life is Strange 2, and she got really into it, and that was really exciting to kind of see her play and really get into. Thursday, nothing happened. Thursday was such a non-everything uh, that it just kind of existed and we all kind of passed it 
Which... I wish that wasn't the case. I wish that, you know, more had happened Thursday, but it didn't. Friday. Something happened Friday, but what was it? Because I don't remember. Um. Friday. What happened Friday? I don't remember, so it must not have been that important. But something did it go down Friday. And that was a thing that happened. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, so that was interesting. And then Saturday, yesterday, w was... Oh, that's what happened Friday. Friday, I hung out with a uh, Cincinnati kid. He was in town for his grandpa's birthday. So, that was fun. Um, we hung out for a little bit. Uh, we ended up playing Pokemon Go. Okay, so you have to hold it. Um, which is a game that a lot, a lot of people don't play anymore. And I'm, that makes me sad. But I ended up catching a bunch of Pokemon um, to complete out my Pokedex. Haven't done it yet. Have not completed my Pokedex at all. But, no, we're getting closer. Oh, what? We're getting closer, and now it's fun. I feel like game very much is to complete the Pokedex and nothing else. So, there's that. Um, we ended up, like, we were playing at, like, f stupid early in the morning. Um, it had, like, I started playing Black, Op Black Ops 4. For the main point is that the next, uh... Hudson is now available if you play like a stupid amount. If you get to tier 199, he's he's available. So I was playing as I was playing some blackout and I was playing some multiplayer. A friend got in contact with me. He was like, "Hey, do you want to do some zombies?" And I was like, "That's the one thing that doesn't actually help this tier." But sure, why not? Let's play some zombies. So we played zombies. No, so that was fun. Um, and then, and kind of to continue the, blah, blah, blah. Kind of to continue the whole string. That was weird. Um, Saturday was the birthday party. Um, I talked about, I talked about this in the shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, story time because it was fresh off my mind and uh, it was fresh off my mind that's kind of just where I, I had just come from but I went to a 25 year old's birthday party as a 21 year old and it was weird um it was definitely like the first adult birthday party I went to um and everything about it was like oh we're adults now it wasn't this crazy party full of alcohol it was a pretty intimate quiet night of us just hanging out having a good time and playing board games and it was one of these things where it's like you know i wish i had been more appreciative of the simpler of like these simple things um you know i've been Real terrified of growing up, basically. If I have to kind of like be really simple about it, I've been real terrified of growing up for a while. And yesterday was probably like the first day where I'm like, oh, okay, it's not, I'm not, I'm not terrified of growing up anymore. Um, you know, I'm always gonna be goofy and silly and just plain stupid at times. But I don't feel getting old. You know, I'm not... 
it's one of these things where like I know I can still be me and be old as shit. Um, and that's not something I knew. Like that wasn't something that clicked for a while. So now that it has, like, oh, maybe I am growing. You know. Also, fuck that, fuck ghost fence because literally, I was fine until he got in front of me, and then I was not fine. Ugh, I hate that I didn't get the last kill. Um, I don't know, but it very much was this thing of like, well, nothing's, nothing is, uh, forsaken. I don't know. And then I came back, um, I got back at the house at like 11 o'clock at night, 11.30, and I was like, okay, time to, time to record. <laughs> time to do some videos. So maybe I haven't grown that much. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how that went. Um, yeah, I still have, I still have a lot of growing to do, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be that hard. You know, I don't think it's going to be that terrible. All right. Um, I'm done. I, you know, this week, oh, I do want to say, uh, this week is going to be weird for, uh, videos. Uh, come Friday, come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe even Thursday. I'm not quite sure, but Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday should be normal. Um, but any technical issues or anything like that should be a normal setup. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Maybe Sunday. Sunday will probably be good again. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, you may or may not get videos. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to be out in a hotel and doing things. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. I'm going to try to make it a non-issue. But as, as of this point, I'm not entirely sure um, how smooth it will be. But other than that, I don't... You know, I don't have any more information for you. Um, just know that the next week's letter from the field is going to be very busy. Um, I'm going to have a lot to talk about. And it's not just going to be like, oh, I grew up a little bit or that kind of thing. It's going to be like, oh, I have a shit ton of stuff I actually did and I want to talk about. And it's really exciting. Um, so, yeah, keep your eyes on that. I'm done again. Um, Wednesday, I'll probably be for posting the first episode of the next Platinum Road, um, after taking your answers into consideration, which, by the way, has been none. If you do have, um, if you do kind of have a choice between Friday the 13th or Black Ops 4, go watch the, um, and leave a comment down below in this video which one you'd rather me prefer, you'd rather me do, or go watch the, the, the deals uh, dealer's choice, if you don't know what, how either game plays, and how either trophy hunt will kind of go, go watch that video, leave a comment, and let me know what's going on over there, and hopefully I can kind of get you some answers. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, now I'm done for real.